This is James Morris here and you are watching the Ready Made Templates YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to create a weekly assignment planner with checklist options. Watch this 4.5 minutes video from start to end and learn that how easily you can create your assignment tracker in just a few minutes. Go to the layout menu, press the orientation button, and then select the landscape orientation option for the page. Then go to the margins and select the narrow margin option. Write a heading for your weekly assignment sheet along with the month name and year. Write your name, subject for the assignment planner sheet, and the dates of the week. Increase the font size for the heading to 20 points and make it bold, and change the text for the month name and year to show it a bit different on the heading. Bold the name, subject, and date labels. Go to the line and paragraph spacing options, and add some more line space after the heading text. Do the same for the name, subject, and date line. Go to the Insert menu, Tables, and click the Insert Table option, and set the number of columns to 12, and select the Auto Fit to Windows option. Adjust the width for the 10 columns on the right side, that we are going to use for weekdays. Select these columns and go to the Layout option, and click the Distribute Columns option to distribute these columns evenly to the given space. Select the two columns on the top, and merge them to make one to write the name of the day. Do the same for these columns on the right. Write column headings in the top row. Right click on the table and go to Table Properties. Go to the Cell tab and click the Options button at the bottom, and add margins to the table cells. Set the black background color for the top heading row of the table. Then change the middle border lines to gray color. You can download this weekly assignment tracker in MS Word format, from the link in the description below. Change the color of the subheading row to gray, and then add subheading text there. S stands for scheduled, and C stands for completed. Click in the last cell of the row and press the tab button to add a new row below. Add a checkbox, or rectangle shape in the cell. Then copy and paste this to all the other cells to create a checklist option for the tasks. Please press the like button and subscribe to our channel to get more exciting and informative videos. Your weekly assignment planner sheet with the checklist is ready. You can print it using any regular printer and use it easily. If you have liked our efforts to create this video for you, then please, like this video, share it with your friends, 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more videos with exciting new things.